Greetings everyone. Uh, this is Khamar Moon Boy and uh, I am your host here Khamaruddin aka Khamar Moon Boy. So today we are going to learn about ETAPS 2016. In this I am going to tell you about a new topic uh, which I am uh, deciding uh, to tell you about uh, on which uh, I have did my research and uh, I have completed my uh, MTech structures on that. So uh, you can uh, uh, look at this thesis uh, I have uh, completed and this is about dampers so what is the importance of damping and what are the types of dampers and why we should apply damping uh, to the building uh, the importance of that and uh, so how it will make safe uh, building when it is uh, under earthquake so it uh, the building uh, resists the earthquake so let us uh, see all these topics about this so be ready to watch this video subscribe uh, my channel if you haven't subscribed and let's see what's there assalamu alaikum welcome to Hamar Moonboy channel and this is a new video for you do like my video so that I can create more for you by clicking on this like button and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel till now and also press on the bell icon if you are not getting this notification uh, for my channel you will get a notification every time I upload a new video thank you so what is damping it is defined as energy loss in the response over the time period energy dissipation involves factors such as materials radiation of soil etc clear understanding of damping is required for incorporating its effect to the structure the shape of the response curve doesn't change by damping but the magnitudes are reduced so the response of the building is reduced during uh, the whatever the response of the building is taken during the lateral load effect to the building uh, will be reduced and the magnitudes are reduced but the curve shape is remaining the same so uh, you can say what is the importance of damping then so when the structure has more much absorbing capacity than the seismic energy then it can withstand the structural damage equivalent viscous damping can be used as a feasible means of decreasing the structural damage so what are the sources of damping now so you can all uh, you can see all the sources available uh, I will be giving this uh, link of this my thesis uh, in the description below you can check that link and you can go to that link and uh, you can uh, download that link you can read uh, my thesis and you can also refer how I have uh, worked uh, I have taken about eight buildings uh, with dampers and without dampers and then I have uh, uh, joined the results of that and I have seen how it is behaving under uh, different seismic conditions so I have did both time history and pushover analysis uh, in this so you can watch uh, the pushover analysis data how to do that also you can uh, get the all this uh, data in this thesis uh, so let us see what are the types of dampers uh, we have we have friction dampers we have PVD dampers these are PVD dampers you can see pile friction dampers uh, same as friction dampers but by, by pile dynamics company limited at, uh, and we have metallic dampers uh, which are basically made up with springs inside and uh, we have uh, a dash damper that is alloy damper which is uh, another damper again that is one more is lead injection damper LED damper and uh, shape memory alloy SMA damper so these are different types of dampers these are like shock absorbers in your vehicle like that and most preferably in my thesis I have used a viscous dampers that is fluid viscous dampers this one you can see here with chamber 1 chamber 2 and all this seal piston and everything so these uh, dampers are basically provided by a company called Taylor so Taylor dampers uh, are available in the market uh, and you can order them uh, 
from the Taylor devices so we have some of the Taylor devices uh, uh, here we have lead damper lead rubber damper also so let us uh, uh, you can read all about these dampers tune mass dampers type e101 has been made using this uh, phenomenon that is uh, skyscraper uh, which is designed uh, using this uh, tune mass damper so it is a kind of uh, another damper that is a tmd tune mass damper another tune mass damper that is passive seismic controlling system and uh, this can be placed over the terrace so to reduce the seismic effect on the building so based on uh, different conditions of building uh, uh, we can provide different uh, dampers in it so in my buildings I have used a fluid viscous damper so which you can see here uh, these are the fluid viscous dampers and we can arrange in three ways you can see like this okay we can arrange like a, a diagonal one a, 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 W shape to form a W shape or to form a M shape with the uh, straight dampers. So uh, these are um, basically linear dampers. So it will be uh, okay um, taking the linear load in one direction. So let us see what are the Taylor devices now. Here we have a fluid viscous damper cross section in here with a piston rod piston here inside and damping medium some medium uh, that is oil or something will be present inside the damper uh, based on different company here we have the, this is the outer cover is nothing but called as a cylinder and here we can attach a two uh, different steel sections or members connected with bolts with it uh, and uh, this can be connected to the structure uh, diagonally or radially or uh, straight or vertically anyways okay so let us go to the another this this is the damping uh, equation now with the damping coefficient these are the different uh, uh, percentages of damping reinforced concrete has a five percent of damping we have to consider this is the equation of common damping single degree of freedom equation with the damping can be written as like this mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equals to uh, minus m u double dot of g with respect to the time u is the displacement related to the ground So modeling of dampers. The dampers used uh, in the modeling of these buildings uh, today what building we are going to take is uh, the Taylor devices uh, inclusive made in USA. So this company has provided uh, two types of uh, damper that is uh, fluid viscous dampers and lockup device that is and lockup devices uh, with clevis clevis configuration or clevis base plate configuration so we will be taking the second one that is with clevis base plate configuration uh, this type of uh, configuration we are going to consider these are the uh, dimensions and uh, you can see these are the legend of uh, drawings different uh, items you can see here so here uh, it gives strokes about plus or minus 52 plus or minus 900 mm so force capacity uh, may be reduced for the stroke length so these are the separate stroke lengths how you can calculate the stroke length is given here so this table gives us the different uh, uh, devices with the different uh, force values uh, which can take and the mid stroke value with the uh, uh, variable stroke length of uh, 75 plus or minus 75 mm so that uh, that much uh, deflection it can take and it weighs about 44 kg so you can provide the weight so with the uh, uh, this weight is just for this you can change it so next uh, uh, in the e tab menu now in e tabs how to define the link property is uh, given here how, 
the total how I have provided in ETABS uh, is which is given here let us go to ETABS and create a billing and start uh, doing this uh, FVD 250 uh, today now in this video let us continue so you can see this is ETABS 2016 newer version 16.2 now just uh, we will uh, start a new file new model uh, with the user build up uh, I will be using the Indian code for it so everything I am using here is Indian code I'll just take uh, some five to six stories building with the typical story height let it be three meter three meter and uh, let us take some six and uh, uh, eight in this direction uh, five okay five in this direction eight in this direction let us take 3.2 meters and uh, some four meters spacing uh, and let us uh, directly give uh, some two-way slab so it is not a ribbed slab it is a two-way slab overhangs I don't want to give any overhang we can give it directly a new column property we can add a material according to Indian material that is India concrete Indian material let us take M25 for columns and check here okay let us add the rebar FE500 okay and okay let us add one more for beams that is M20 concrete So we have added different concretes here and a rebar also. Let us click on OK. Let us select here M25 for column. Let us give the column size. Two thirty by six fifty. Let's give the dimension here you can also give in inches let us quickly give the modifiers if you don't know how to set these modifiers you check my previous videos now this is a column so this is a column this will be a column design here rectangular ties reinforced to be checked uh, or to be designed a 40 mm 3 oh, we can uh, change this to 16 mm 8 mm and uh, let us take 150 ok so all these are done click on ok one column is added uh, let us uh, click on ok so this will be column available here beams in the x direction beams in the y direction we can provide a concrete beam we have uh, uh, we can just uh, add a copy of that property here we can select m20 sorry m20 and here we can write beam oh sorry here we can write beam with the uh, 230 by so 450 for beam property modifiers will be half of the column okay At this time we will select the beam design and cover for beam click on ok okay 
also select for this uh, side of beam slab property go to modify slab modify and give m20 a slab uh, this is slab with shell thin uh, we can give the modifiers here for slab it will be 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 for sure yes then let us give uh, some 125 mm thickness slab okay okay now slab 1 is selected let's give some additional dead load of uh, 2.5 kilonewton per meter square and live load of around 3 kilonewton per meter square rigid uh, with the fixed support at the bottom okay now if I click on okay my building is ready So this is how the building is totally ready and in this version 16.2 version you can also design the slab so here in the two-way slab directly it has taken and you can see some of the pink lines here violet lines here these lines are nothing but slab strips I will be showing you how to manually draw slab strips and go for design of slab in ETAPS 2016 in my upcoming videos so Keep watching my videos let us continue with the modeling of uh, dampers now let us go to the my my file and let us check what we have to do actually we have to go to ETAPS when you define and link properties add a new link and we have to give a link property data so let us provide the link property data as per my file previously I have completed this so let us go to define in this I have to go to define section properties link and support properties I think in this yes uh, we have a link one link one add a new link property yes so this is the link property so let us give the link property we have to write the name it as uh, whatever we are giving here is FVD 250 it's a damper exponential so let us go to this uh, we have to give some FVG 250 that is we are using from the table FVG 250 this one this table from here we have using uh, we are using the values and all these values will be inputting here and then we will be getting the total so we have to give it as damper exponential p delta parameters we need not to modify uh, we have to give the link property uh, that is mass and weight according to the table and then we have to uh, give the direction property fixed in the u1 direction so that we have to mention and uh, have to click on OK so let us go to the uh, we have to here we have to select a damper as an exponential uh, it is uh, next we have to give here that is 44 kg and 250 kilonewton and uh, all the rotational inertia are not required here let us go to u1 direction and it is fixed uh, in the u1 direction let us click on OK. So let us delete this uh, link one property. We don't require that link one, and uh, we can see that it is FVT 250 now. So click on OK. Now we have given the link property of damper. Now, now we need to draw the links. Uh, now we can draw in the this 3D view uh, diagonal links like uh, I have did in my. Uh, project uh, so you can see how I have applied the links uh, diagonally at the corners because uh, for rectangular building at the corners if we resist uh, 
the different loadings or different uh, uh, lateral load can be reduced by eff effectively if you use uh, the dampers at the corners of the building so let us just uh, continue with this uh, let us give this uh, dampers at the corners by going to the elevation view like this so let us go to the elevation view elevation view let's go to the first uh, that is outside elevations like uh, one elevation view a eight and e these are the four elevation views we will go so let us go to the a first and close in this elevation view we are going to provide the links now we have to go to since the building is complete uh, save it uh, once and uh, um, then you can go on adding the links uh, you have a shortcut for drawing links here draw links or you can go to the draw and the link option here uh, draw links uh, then you can select the FVD 250 link that is our damper then just pro draw, start drawing the links uh, from corner to corner so we will uh, draw from here okay start from here drag down side and drop it here okay then press enter again start from here go down here drop it here enter start from here go down here and drop it here enter So this video is just for reference uh, many values you need to Im actually imagine and also actually you need to give a you know, few of the values by yourself uh, about the connections of uh, this uh, dampers with the steel member and the connection design you need to do with the concrete embedded to the beam and column uh, this dampers has to be connected properly so that weight also you need to consider actually in the table which i have not considered i have just taken directly the dampers you can uh, make it uh, more efficient by providing the accurate data by researching on the dampers so let us go to the last eight side grid and draw similarly the dampers so actually I want to show you uh, without dampers and with dampers what are the differences uh, that you can read on my thesis uh, which is which uh, I have uh, provided the link in the description so actually if you provide dampers uh, the reduction of earthquake response uh, is uh, very much reduced using the dampers so mostly in uh, new practices uh, where you need to uh, provide a tall building in a small area and uh, you have a seismic zone so you can provide dampers uh, to resist uh, the building from collapse so this uh, helps actually and also it reduces the uh, deflections of the building in the lateral direction so like this you can provide the dampers to the building so let us go out of the drawing mode by clicking on this arrow mark and now we can check the model and analyze and uh, also we can set the load combinations okay we can take concrete frame design and uh, we can assign some earthquake loads so that we can study let us take some seismic load according to 1893 IS 1893 2000 and let us see how much uh, actual 
actually it reduces the seismic effect so we can go to modify lateral load let us give all the direction and this is 0 0.36 uh, let us give zone 4 let us take zone 4 I have used zone 4 so these are different uh, let us take the eccentricity also reduction factor let us take 3 importance factor 1 base is base story 6 is story 6 and uh, time to be program calculated okay okay so I have taken an earthquake load uh, totally of zone 4 let us go to the analyze now let's go to the combinations let us see this has developed the earthquake combinations also yes so now I can analyze check the model let us select all and check the model if there is any problem in the model it will show so the model is checked there is no warning messages generated so let us go for analysis now set load cases to run yes model yeah model I have not checked uh, by default it will be 12 modes set by the by default let us uh, go to run now diaphragm is already applied I think we have given a rigid diaphragm So it is analyzing the model. You can see the details how it is doing the multilinear effect. So this is how the displacements you can see now. This is due to live load. This is due to earthquake load. Now you can see the effect has been changed. So this has earthquake in the y direction. So these are different earthquakes applied. So just you can start the animation to see. So how the corners are fixed now. You can see that it is stabilizing, trying to stabilize the building. So you can see how much uh, there is a response uh, reduction in the displacement. You can see very much, very less deflection is there in mode one. So the building is having very less less deflection, around seven mm. So it is very less uh, deflection is there in the building. Uh, due to this much of earthquake also you have very lesser deflection for the building so this ends uh, uh, the modeling of tampers and uh, the variation in the analysis you can also check my results uh, in this thesis so I have used different type of building with at corners uh, at the corners and I have did a time history and pushover analysis too and uh, the results finally I have found with and without dampers are really shocked my mind after seeing these results so in the base here you can see that uh, this uh, this is without dampers this is this much is the base here and uh, with dampers the base shear is totally reduced in both x and y direction uh, due to time history analysis and even if you see for the pushover analysis it is really reduced uh, in the when used with the fluid viscous dampers so these are the few results you can verify with the and without dampers when the building is uh, applied no dampers and uh, when the building is applied with a fluid viscous damper how the building uh, behavior changes also the deflection you can see when the uh, when the building is applied with uh, the dampers the how much there is a reduction you can see 90% uh, is uh, reduction 
is there 90 percent has been reduced so the di displacement of the building is reduced by 90 percent uh, when fluid viscous dampers is applied properly as i have applied at the corners so also the position matters also the number of fluid viscous dampers and the capacity of the dampers also matters so here is the result of a fluid viscous damper and it was a quick demo for you so try it at your home share this video with your friends and uh, try to help everyone who is doing mtech project using dampers so have a nice day for you greetings again from Hammer Moon Boy. thank you for watching this video do like share and subscribe my channel for more thank you